This is a 7 News update. Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Kim Keeler. Three members of a Lake Charles family were killed yesterday in a car accident in Liberty County, Texas. Dead are, are Hazel Dyer, her daughter-in-law, 43-year-old Eileen Dyer, and Eileen's son, 18-year-old Richard Dyer. Texas State Police say the accident happened about 3.30 in the afternoon when a flatbed trailer came loose from the pickup truck hauling it. Police say the trailer ran into the path of the Dyer car. All three victims were pronounced dead on the scene. The two women were volunteers at Lake Charles Memorial Hospital. As officials in Jefferson County, Texas, prepare for the multi-million dollar Ramcor aircraft maintenance facility, some people here in Lake Charles are trying to figure out why that company didn't choose to locate at the Chenault Industrial Air Park. The president of Ramcor says Texas got its plans together the fastest. The fact that they provided the funding for the hangar, who were the first ones to the table. We've always uh, maintained, it's always been our position that they, we were working in a number of places and the first one to do the funding to build the hangar itself would be where we would locate our facility. Is there any chance of you coming back to Lake Charles? Well, I, I, at this point, I don't see a chance. A big look. Chamber Southwest President Joe Cerrone reacts to the loss of the Ramcor project. To dealing in a competitive world, a competitive society, we got beat out. Uh, is it a blow? Yes, it is. But we're dealing in a highly competitive area when we're talking about economic development. Cerrone says all governing bodies in our area need to work together in the future to prevent the loss of such economic opportunities. Calcasieu police jurors say they want to do all they can to provide local jobs for local people and to assure a decent wage for workers. But jurors have found that time and time again the law limits what they can do. Some feel repealing the state's prevailing wage law has made things even worse for local workers. State Senator Jack Dolan suggests a fair wage standard be established on projects paid for by local government. Friend, benefits, and everything. Now meeting with you tonight to see if we can't stop some of the erosion of the working people in this area so that they can get back to the standard of living that all of us think they should have. A committee of police jurors, labor leaders, and a contractor will look into establishing a fair wage standard for Calcasieu Parish. And it's day two of the Republican National Convention in New Orleans. Last night, President Reagan kicked off the convention, receiving many cheers as he relived accomplishments during his time in the White House and spoke of his support for the man he says should be there next, George Bush. Louisiana delegates at the convention say the affection shown to the president was overwhelming. They say Reagan is responsible for what they call the growing strength of the Republican Party in Louisiana. And looking ahead in the news today, we'll have live coverage from the Republican National Convention throughout the day here on 7 News with political correspondent Paul Murphy. And we'll be right back with a look at the weather for your Tuesday. At Louisiana State Optical, our story is simple. We save you money on quality eyewear, and we give you same-day service. We offer a complete package price that includes your eye examination, your choice plastic or glass lens, frames, and case, all for only $59.95 single vision, $79.95 bifocals. Our lab technicians have over 100 years combined experience. That's more than any other optical company in the area. So if you want your glasses done fast, but you want them done right, come to Louisiana State Optical. Here's what meteorologist Steve Bray says we can expect here in Lake Charles and all across southwest Louisiana today. The skies are clear, the temperature is 77 degrees, humidity stands at 90%, and the barometer is reading 29.93 and steady. You can expect partly cloudy skies all day today with a 20% chance of afternoon showers. Winds will be coming from the east to the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And looking at our high temperatures of the day, Leesville and DeRitter have the highest in southwest Louisiana, and they, should, they have an expected high of 96 degrees. The high in Lake Charles today will be 94. In the marine forecast, you will have variable winds near 10 knots, seas rolling in at 2 to 3 feet with a light chop in protective waters. The low tides will go out at 12.07 p.m. High tides rolling in at 6.09 tonight. Tides will go back out again at 12.03 tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back at 825 with more news and weather. If you can't join us then, have a great day.